So the different ways in which allergies can present in our body include whether if it is affecting the upper airway, lower airway, your skin or your eyes or even your digestive system. When it affects the upper airway, we have something called as allergic rhinitis. So allergic rhinitis presents in the form of running nose, recurrent sneezing as well as itching. This occurs more so early in the morning. So your child might actually keep doing this which we call as an allergic salute to overcome the itching of the nose. Allergic rhinitis can either be seasonal or it could be perennial. Seasonal occurring only at certain seasons when the pollen is very high or perennial when it occurs throughout the year. How does this impact one person? Allergic rhinitis could result in recurrent ear infections. It could cause behavioural issues, more so because the child is not sleeping well at night and snoring. If allergies affect the lower airway, we usually call it as asthma. Asthma is a fearful term for many, but it means nothing but just allergies of the lower airway. So usually, a child presents chronically with recurrent symptoms of cough as well as wheezing. This cough and wheezing usually occurs more in the night, especially early in the morning, between let's say 2 a.m. to around 5 a.m., when the child will wake up coughing or wheezing and have the parents almost panicking. These asthma symptoms may be triggered by cold or many other triggers which we should not discuss in the future. But allergic rhinitis and asthma can coexist in the same child. If allergies manifest in the skin, we usually refer to it as eczema or atopic dermatitis. This is more common in infants and younger children when they present with raised rashes which appear red as well as very very itchy. So the baby is highly irritable because the baby is not able to overcome these itchy rashes. If this allergies affect the eyes, we see it in the form of redness and burning, itchy sensation of the eyes which are constantly watering, which we also refer to as allergic conjunctivitis. Hence, allergies can affect these main parts of your body and can manifest in the form of either allergic rhinitis, asthma or wheezing, eczema of your skin, conjunctivitis of your eyes or sometimes in the form of vomiting in the GI system. Thank you.